All right, it is Saturday, August 15th. That's where we were camped. We both kind of moved to sit in our vehicles to be in the sun, which may not have been a great idea because it is a Saturday and this road is like a highway sometimes. There is a camp spot up there or a uh, hiking trailhead and a lot of people apparently go on those hikes and also stay the night. Over the course of the, the morning, we have heard car doors closing closer and closer and closer because they are parking further and further down the hill. That's how packed it is up there. So it is a beautiful day. We've got to get out of here, which is at least a seven mile descent all the way down to where we need to catch our route. So we are about to do that now. And then we will finish up track two and we will be on track one, the last track on the Continental Divide for us. All right, it is four o'clock and we are on route one to above Eureka in Canada. We really haven't done a whole lot of driving today. We stopped in town to gas up and then decided to wait around and upload our videos. And we happened to do that in the lot of an expedition company he rents out Jeeps to check out the area and they have rooftop tents and he says business is really good. So we talked to him for a while. He gave us some tips of where to go in the area. So I think on the way back, once we're done with this route, we do want to go on the east side of Glacier without going into the main park. But he gave us a couple of spots to check out, including a camp spot. So if the timing's right, we'll check that out. Also, on our way to this location, right where we are now, we happened to come across and saw Venture 4WD's Jeep in a parking lot at a small restaurant. So we decided to pop in and see if we could possibly talk to him. So that I'll talk about a little bit later in this video towards the end. But we did end up meeting Chris, and then Manny and I had lunch there and hung out, so that must have been at least an hour and a half, if not more. So now we have full bellies, we're a little bit tired already, and so we're already looking for a camp spot. Uh, there is a pretty cool view, and this is near a small lake. So we're gonna see if we can't stay in the parking lot, and then we did see a small spot that was a pullout. It was also kind of dusty, but this is a really pretty area. So we did find our spot. It is not right by the lake, but it is near the lake. And it was day use only. We didn't want to take the chance, so we decided to take this. But look what is back behind my hatch. You got that view. There's a little bit of a marshy area, but very nice. So Manny's gonna level up. I think I'm fine where I'm at. I like being a little elevated up front and leaning towards the right, so that works for me. The road is right here but it's getting late in the evening, so I don't think we're gonna see much traffic, and it'll probably pick back up around six or seven, so no big deal. That's the view across. So really decent spot for being a Saturday night and not thinking we're gonna find anything else. We lucked out. So this is home for the night. So we took a short trip down to the lake and Manny is going to go swimming and there is zero chance that I will be joining him. That is cold. It is really pretty. I don't know if you can pick up the different colors. It's clear for as far as you can see the depth and it's got a lot of cool greens and blues out there. 
What a neat spot. Look at him, he's got his swim trunks on. I'll tell you what, that breeze, when you come out. <laughs> did you even bring a towel? Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. a towel here. The super absorbent REI towel. All right, yeah, RER sponsorship. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna go out for a little dip. I will stay in my nice warm clothes. Well, he seems to enjoy it. Oh. I kind of like my spot. <laughs> this area here is right across from the lake and gives you an idea of where we're at. So we are right over there. So, being that close to the water and all this marsh, you can imagine the mosquitoes are really bad. Put on a bunch of off and they don't seem to care. Even had my thermocell and that didn't bother them either. So I brought my camp chair, I sat it in the back here, and now I've got my net up, the thermocell's still on, and I still got at least a nice view of the marsh there. Can't see the top of the mountaintop, but it is quite nice in here now. So this will be my spot until I decide to pack up to go to bed. All right, so as I mentioned earlier in this video, we actually had the opportunity to meet Chris from Venture Four Wheel Drive. Both of us really like his channel. Uh, we both really like what he's doing. We think it's awesome. Long story short, we have a few discussions. Of course, we have a few questions for him and he was asking about you know what we were doing and why we were in the area uh, and it ended up being a good, you know, 10 minutes the first conversation and then probably a 10 to 15 minute conversation after that because uh, we had sat down at our table and engaged in more conversation. And it was just really cool that, you know, here's someone that we watch all the time and now here he is and we can talk to him. So one thing that I want to mention and why I'm having this long drawn out conversation about meeting this YouTuber is because he actually had an impact on my life last year. So after my six to seven month trip of being out in the wild and alone and just loving every aspect of it and just really enjoying being out in nature and in these back roads and meeting different people and coming home from that I knew would be a challenge, but it actually hit me harder than I thought it would. And no sympathy or anything like that. And I know I got to do something that a lot of people don't do but going back to the norm of what my life was as to you know living in a house and being around people and traffic and everything else and of course it was great to see my girlfriend and my kids and that was that's awesome that you know that I missed but the rest of it not so much and I was really bummed for a while and then I came upon his channel and almost instantly I felt like I was back out there. Uh, the way that he travels and the way that he appreciates the adventure and makes it more about what's around him and his surroundings and really appreciating that versus being more about the gear and the setups and everything else just really hit home with me. And I remember looking at my girlfriend saying, watching this guy is like me being out there. And sometimes he'd say things. I was like, that's exactly how I feel. So to meet the person that helped me through that transition I thought was just that was awesome 
So that's why I say in my title that I met my overlanding, traveling idol. Because he is. What he does and how he does it is how I like to do it and how I appreciate being out here on the road. Um, not just because he has a big channel, and, and I am super happy for him that his channel has been so successful and that he can make this a full-time thing. And, and when we talked about that, he is just as appreciative today as he was when he talked about that in his video. So the guy that you see in that video is the same guy that you would meet if you ever met him. He is super nice guy, very humble about the whole experience, humble about his travels and how much support that he has. And that is just super cool to see. In case you haven't already figured out that you should go watch Chris on Venture 4WD, uh, if you like my videos, you are going to love his videos. They are top-notch, great quality. He spends a lot of time and effort putting those together. And it is definitely that something that I'd aspire to do if I was willing to put in that much work and buy a laptop to do all that and plus a camera and stuff like that but anyway like i said check him out if you get the chance and watch his videos and support him so it is getting kind of late it's very cool outside i just closed my hatch and got done editing a video so i'm about to get ready for bed in here and turn in tomorrow is the last part of route one so it's the end of the continental divide or it will be Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.